Welcome to my Stromanthi Trio Star Division video. Just a quick warning that you see my bare feet a lot throughout the video. So this is what my Stromanthi looked like when I first, well, not when I first got it. That was from August, 2018. This is what it looks like today. So I've probably had this plant for, I would say about 13 or 14 months now. And it's grown at least two new rhizomes since um, I got it and it's getting a little bit big for its pot. Right now we're just entering the growing season and I'm really hoping that I'm able to actually one, not only divide the plant, but two, get each of these um, separated plants to also develop new rhizomes um, by the end of the year. So you can see here, I'm just looking at my plant. This is what the rhizomes themselves kind of like look like at the base um, there at the pot. How beautiful is that pink? These plants are so gorgeous. Um, so to begin dividing, I'm just kind of, this is the tray that I use uh, to kind of catch any water that might kind of leak out after I've put the plant back um, after watering it. And I'm beginning with a new pot here. It looks exactly like the other one. And I'm just going to take a coffee filter. This is an unbleached organic coffee filter. I'm wetting it down to put over the drainage hole. And you see me do this in all of my potting videos. This is the this is what I use to keep potting soil, as you can see here, from just dropping out of the bottom of the drainage hole. So I kind of get the stromampi I'm trying to think about how I kind of want to remove it and so initially I tried just turning it over and it was really firmly locked into the pot now it's not root bound however um, it's firmly inside the pot so I started by just kind of removing and loosening some of the soil on the surface without going deep enough to really disturb any of the roots. And then I tried again to see, can I kind of get this stromampi out of the pot? And I wasn't successful. So what I decided to do was give the plant some water right away so that I could protect its roots. They are a little bit more delicate. And from there, I just started kind of going into the rim of the pot around the roots, not through them and kind of working and loosening the soil you'll see me kind of take this pot and I'm going to turn it over and do that to the other side as well. And then what that does is it actually allows me to kind of right here, just pull the plant out. It's loose. And here it is. You can see we've got a lot of soil there kind of nestled up in the roots. So my goal here isn't to remove all of the soil. What I'm really trying to do is renew, just remove enough soil so that I'm able to see where I want to start separating the stromanthi. I've got two smaller rhizomes and three larger rhizomes. And actually the difference in these two sections are really stark. We have a lot more variegation on one and on the other, the leaves are just a lot larger. And so you can see me here, I'm seeing where that kind of natural division is and I'm looking at the roots, trying to see, okay, what's holding them together? How am I able to kind of gently tease them apart without causing any damage? And right here, you can see me grab a hold of one of the roots and I realize that's what's it. I hold it in place as I gently pull the rhizomes apart because I do not want to break that root off. And so there, there it is. So you can see here that the roots look really healthy. They're in good shape. I didn't find any pests. Um, I've got, you know, some fungus gnats here and there. They come in and out depending on when I bring in new plants and I get rid of them and then they're back. I get rid of them and then they're back. So other than that, I don't really see anything. So I set the larger rhizomes aside at first um, into the pot that I was kind of getting and prepping for them. And then here again, just looking at the roots on the smaller rhizome. They look good and damaged for the most part. And so I'm pretty happy so far with the division and the way that this looks, especially because in this set of rhizomes, we actually do have a leaf that um, is relatively new and hasn't yet uncurled. 
Now, originally I was thinking about putting the smaller two rhizomes in this pot here that you see, and it's a smaller pot. But one of the things that I realized was once I got soil into the pot and then set the rhizomes here into the pot, again, it's the growing season. I'm hoping for new rhizomes and it just didn't look like there was gonna be enough space. So I kind of decided, you know what? I'm just gonna put this back into the original pot and give it enough room for it to produce new rhizomes and to grow like it did the first time. And so I go ahead and I start prepping this pot as well, I'm getting it ready, uh, along with cleaning up just a little bit. I made such a mess. Um, I always do though. I'm gonna be honest, I always make a mess. So here I am just kind of getting this pot ready. Um, I'm mixing up my soil as I go. Now I do have kind of a potting mix that I make myself, but when it comes to any of my um, calatheas or my stromanthi, I add a lot more perlite. So here I am, I'm potting up and finishing potting up the larger uh, set of rhizomes and just getting them into their pot. They look great. I'm really happy with the division and I think it's kind of, again, like I said, a little bit more of a natural division. And so what I'm interested in seeing then is what will the new rhizomes of these plants look like? And I guess time will tell. As you can see though, between the two in the same pot, they can reproduce rhizomes that are, depending on how close they are to light, leaves that are a lot bigger or leaves that are a little bit smaller and a lot more variegated. So it's really interesting to see the differences here. This side, um, as you can see, it just, it was closer to the window. It's had more light. Um, even though I do turn it, probably I haven't turned it enough. That's obvious. There's no use trying to argue that now. It's really obvious you can see it. But here they are side by side. I'm really happy with them. I'm really happy with how they turned out. Uh, I am gonna be holding on to both of them for now. And once I see how they do, I'll probably be sharing this with a friend. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please think about doing so. Until next time, be well and take care.